afternoon. It's 2.52. Uh, Thursday, April 16th. And uh, feeling a little bit paranoid right now, honestly, making this video. But um, I honestly don't give a fuck. I I'm a pretty much uh, I'm a full throttle individual and basically I think that threatens people they find it alarming I guess but I just don't give up I'm like a <laughs> I'm like a turtle that wants to travel from one you know one side of the country to the other I just that's just my personality um, so anyways uh, to make this a little bit more lighthearted I'll start off by saying it's a beautiful day and um, I feel very blessed and I'm thankful that I have such a supportive um, connection to my truth and people that help me to be a more positive person and stay away from bad things like drugs and um, you know demonic forces and I'm really thankful for that because sometimes I feel like I get pulled into wanting to I guess unleash the more, you know, demonic forces in me that I know are bad and I cannot help but sense that they're there at times and I just say, okay, you know, I don't want to be an evil woman, <laughs> so I'm going to ignore this and move on and um, and uh, so so anyways uh, part of my problem I think is that I have to understand that there are people that just don't like me they hate me there's some people that just can't stand me, um, and there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I just, there's nothing I can do about it, and like I said, I'm just <clears throat> kind of a genius, and I get a lot of shit because of it, um, <laughs> you know, and... I don't know, it's hard because when you're such an intense person, people tend to be, like I said, threatened by it. <laughs> and some people want to kill you, it's, it's just, it's just alarming, but um, I'm just happy that I have like a supportive, like I said, supportive people. Um, and on YouTube or my boyfriend Dino who is supportive of me and my grandparents, my family, things like that but um, I tend to want to kind of emotionally distance myself from most people uh, just because of the intensity of my nature especially being a Scorpio 
Um, and it's just, you know, it's just me kind of being very transparent to the outside world that gets to be a problem because I feel like even though I can kind of see through other people, I'm also blind in a lot of ways and I can sense, well, and I know that I'm very transparent to other people and so that leaves me with little to no privacy um, but thank God I have the skills or whatever that I have um, that can kind of allow me to be more independent and less worried about what other people think of me just because maybe they're jealous or maybe they just don't understand maybe sorry maybe they just don't like my you know agenda or whatever because I'm very <clears throat> I'm kind of a politically minded person in the fact that I do sort of have the agenda like mind and at least I'm honest about it, whereas other people are not honest about it, and I don't know what to say. Um, so, uh, anyways, that's just a little, little intro to what this video is about. And, um, and so, but no, like, I, I'm all about the truth, but the thing is, is that if something doesn't make me happy, I'm always acutely aware of that, and so... I don't want to blame anything on other people because I am very, you know, Jesus-like in the sense that I sa I would sacrifice for the good of humanity as opposed to my selfish desires, but if they don't, <laughs> if they don't really, uh, I guess, you know, if they're not true to my highest good or to who I am, then they'll never really, it will never really become a, um, you know, it will never really become anything. So, um, that's, that's a story for another day. But... Anyhow, this video is just a preview to the other video I'm going to make on this subject, and um, <laughs> if people don't understand how I am so passionate about astrology, then they can go fuck themselves, and I really truly mean that, because... <sighs> You can go fuck yourself, seriously, because this is my life. This is my entire world. If it doesn't, if it's not your world, get out, get away from me. You don't need to become a part of my freaking life if you don't agree with my principles. You know, either agree with it, either obey to what I'm saying, or go live your life. I don't give a fuck about what you want to do. As long as you're not telling me what is right or wrong, because I'm not gonna agree with it if I'm an astrology, if I'm into astrology and you're, you know, flapping your wings to some other philosophy or religion. I don't, you know, I don't 
that's your life, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a mean person, I just don't really have the patience to tolerate, you know, people that just don't agree. So anyways, <clears throat> anyways, this video is, <clears throat> sorry, I just need to calm down. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like so crazy. I'm really like, I'm really crazy. You have no idea. But, um, this video is about my boyfriend Dino, um, and his astrology chart. Thank God he gave me his information because... I don't even know what I would do with myself if he didn't. I'd just probably just be pissed all the time. <laughs> but, um, he gave me his information, so I'm gonna make a video on it. I'm gonna make maybe two of them because I didn't do a very detailed job into reading about it. Plus, I'm not an expert, I'm not an expert in astrology, I don't really understand the details of it yet, and um, I am passionate about it, but I don't understand the details, so I'm just going to basically say the basic information, and then I'll go to the details on maybe both of our charts at the same time or maybe just one of them or the other or what have you just so people get a better idea um, as to who we are as individuals and how he sort of changed me with his chart and how I've probably changed him with my chart and whatever so um, uh, so anyways first I'll just read off what I wrote here um, for the professional astrologers in case they're wondering um, like, whoa, what's going on with these two people? Um, small world. There are plenty of professional astrologers out there, and it's a small world, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, he is a sun sign Aquarius. Born on, um, February 16th. And he's a rising sign Capricorn, uh, 21 degrees Capricorn. Um, yeah. And he's a moon sign Cancer, uh, Mercury Aquarius, Venus and Pisces. Mars and Aries, and Jupiter and Scorpio, Saturn and Taurus, Uranus and Libra, uh, my Uranus is in Sagittarius, just so you know, um, Neptune and Sagittarius, and Pluto and Virgo, uh, North Node is in 11 degrees, Pisces, and I said that he has Venus in Pisces. So, anyways, um, uh, let's see, I 
kind of grabbed a bunch of websites to try to interpret his chart. Clearly, me and him, well, I'll start off by saying, clearly me and him do a lot of good for each other, but I really don't think that, um, in reality, that we can make, you know, a positive long-term relationship with each other because the the damage that has been done for the both of us has caused us to um, have a very superficial relationship and it just doesn't lack any substance uh, besides the kind I can see in astrology which I would just be basically um, I would just be basically illuminating to the fact that I'm comforting my inner child when I'm with him. And in case anybody gives a fuck, but anyways, I'm comforting my inner child with him and to a degree, um, he's comforting his inner child with me, which makes us like um, little grown-up kids, I guess. I know he's mature and all this, but he wouldn't want to admit to the fact that we are kind of playing, you know, toys in a baby crib together, in a sense. I mean, I'm <laughs> and this has go been going on since... you know, God knows when, but anyways, we have, we started off in, um, we started off together, and we met at Starbucks, and I was kind of like, I kind of got, I could sense that he was very, like, that he sensed that I was like the one or something so he got all excited and um, and then for me I was just kind of like blinded you know and I'm like hi you know <laughs> and, and it started off like that and um, I wasn't exactly like I was just kind of looking at him as a, as someone who I thought was just kind of a complete stranger, but I could kind of see that he's just wanted to help me. And it became more about helping more than it did about, you know, falling in love in the more romantic sense, I guess you could say. It wasn't it was more like falling in love with our inner child is what I want to call it. I have no problem with that, but I think God would have a problem with it. <laughs> but, um, not to get all goofy on your asses, but... Um, we are all born as children with those kinds of feelings, so um, I don't see why it's wrong. It's definitely not wrong, but at the same time, you know, where can it lead you besides, I guess, 
you know, <laughs> I was thinking that it could be a good life for both of us if we actually cared about each other in a more deeper way, but since we don't, it can't really go anywhere. And that's just kind of what I, that's what I feel personally. Um, because I see things in the way that I see things. He sees things in the way that he sees things and we're both not willing to let go of our egos. And so, uh, long story short, it becomes more about capitalism and, and profit than it really ever will about love and true connection in the more real sense of the word. Um, but, anyways. I'm sure there's a rhyme and a reason for all of it. Um, well, we'll leave the longer interpretation for the next video I make. And I'll just read um, what I already read, so it's not like I'm reading this for the first time about the basics that I just mentioned. Rising sign in 21 degrees Capricorn. You are practical and reserved, but very ambitious. An achiever and a hard worker, you respect success. Older looking and very serious as a youth, things lighten up and you relax more as you mature. You have a serious view of the world as being a difficult place to be in very envious of those who seem to have an easier life than you have. Relaxation and play do not come easy. It is important that you had an abundant parental support as a child so that you do not feel lonely and isolated as an adult. Generally, you have a good earthy sense of humor that can carry with you through times when they get tough. You are purposeful, self-willed, industrious, realistic, responsible. Sun in 27 degrees uh, Aquarius. You get bored with your status, with status quo and are generally open to new things and ideas. An individualist and a free spirit, your friends are quite important to you as long as they do not try to tie you down by making too many emotional demands on you. <clears throat> your thoughts are offbeat and you're a bit eccentric, but not always very changeable. Um, as a matter of fact, you can be quite stubborn at times. Uh, very fair-minded when dealing with large groups or broad issues. Um, you are not always emotionally sensitive to the needs of individuals. Extremely objective, with good powers of observation, you would be qualified to study technical and complicated subjects like science, computers, um, or maybe even astrology. Moon in five degrees cancer. For the most part, you are very strong and secure emotionally. You intuitively know what to do to make others feel comfortable, loved, accepted, and needed. Um, you naturally enjoy feeding and taking care of others. Be careful that your mothering does not turn into smothering. At times you tend to feel that those to whom you are attached can never do anything without your assistance and support. Extremely sensitive by nature, it hurts you deeply whenever anyone criticizes you. You have an almost desperate need to be loved and wanted and needed by everyone with whom you come into contact and you go out of your way to be accommodating with them. This is all true, I think. 
um, Mercury in three degrees Aquarius. You tend to be very opinionated. You have strongly felt notions about things and are quite vocal about expressing and defending them. Yet you are also a an original thinker. You enjoy shocking others with your offbeat original thoughts. You appreciate and need mental and intellectual stimulation. Your judgment is usually fair and impartial. Uh, you can be a good critic because you can remain objective and unemotional about most things. Um, Venus in two degrees Pisces, you have a dreamy, fanciful, romantic nature and a very <clears throat> creative imagination. Indeed, at times your private fantasies are more appealing than the reality around you and it is difficult for you to leave them. You tend to be unselfish and giving in relationships and are extremely sensitive to the needs of others. Be very sure that those you help are worthy of your devotion and are not merely taking advantage of your innocence and naivete. <coughs> Mars in 16 degrees Aries. You are very independent and self-assertive and you have lots of physical energy. You are not satisfied unless you can be the first to do something. As such, you are more comfortable in leadership positions than you are as an underling. When you are challenged by anyone or anything, you delight in the competitive process and will fight long and hard for your beliefs. <clears throat> you are bold and courageous and often act without thinking. Um, at times, in your zeal to get ahead, you are tactless and offensive. Learn that cooperation with others <clears throat> can often bring you nearer to your goals quicker because of the support you will get. Jupiter in 5 degrees uh, Scorpio. <clears throat> you love to dig deep beneath surface appearances in order to find out what is really happening. A persistent researcher, you are very interested in the psychology of any situation. Um, you tend to become overwhelmed by the complexity of what you uncover, however, and <clears throat> and that makes you a bit gun-shy about explaining things to others. <sighs> but you must learn to try to communicate at best. You can because what you know is really very valuable to others. Saturn in three degrees Taurus, complete freedom of choice makes you ill at ease. You have must have a firm ordered secure foundation in your life in order to feel comfortable. You do not adapt easily and tend to fear the new and untried. You constantly fear that you do not have enough love. Enough love, property, material things, etc. And this makes you tend towards being selfish, withdrawn, and stingy. If you try to surround yourself with supportive people in your environment, you will become more emotionally self-supporting. Um, Saturn, er... Uranus in 8 degrees Libra. You, as well as your entire peer group, have a free, unstable, and unconventional approach to relationships um, and emo emotional <laughs> commitments. Uh, you will be attracted to experiments in marriage and shared lifestyles. Personal freedom is more important to you than entangling emotional bonds. In the realm of art and aesthetics, you are attracted to the bizarre, shocking, and unusual. Neptune in zero degrees, Sagittarius. You and your entire generation are heavily involved in investigating 
and idealizing foreign and exotic intellectual systems and religious philosophies. The most extreme ideals will be pursued in gusto. You will be um, at the fore at the forefront of humanitarian attempts to improve the lot of those who are in need of assistance. You will be comfortable with the concept of the global village. Pluto in 26 degrees. Virgo, for your entire generation, this will be a time <clears throat> when uh, profound changes in society's attitude toward work, duty, and responsibility will be initiated. Radical changes um, in attitude. <clears throat> Radical changes in attitudes towards personal health and general nutrition will be promulgated and gain wide acceptance and practice. North Node is in 11 degrees Pisces. You are attracted to others who need your assistance. Uh, you seem to go out of your way to form a relationship with those who are weak, sick, injured, addicted, or troubled in some way or another. At your best, you can indeed provide the relief that others need, but at times you can be, you can be victimized by those who pry on your good nature and take advantage of you. <clears throat> this can lead to all sorts of negative situations. Make sure that those you assist are truly worthy of your time, energy, and commitment. A little enlightened self-protectiveness on your part would make your life work much, much smoother. So anyways, there's that one. And if you look down on my videos, you'll see I made one on me, but I didn't do it detailed. I did it just like I did this one. So anyways, you can check that out and compare the two if you'd like, if you're bored. But anyways, I'll do another one, maybe tomorrow or the next day, on him, more of him, more of Dino, my boyfriend. And that's about it. I'll talk to you tomorrow, and have a lovely rest of your day.